Hi, my name is Lina and I'm in charge of marketing at ePalm. You may already know me from the previous videos in this channel, but today I'd like to take us all to the middle ground and talk about ad exchange where all the RTB magic is happening. The video will be useful for those who work with DSPs, SSPs and those who struggle to choose between ad exchange and ad network. What is an ad exchange? So, I hope you have your pens and notepads out. An ad exchange is an ad tech platform that acts as a middleman between the DSP and SSP in an RTB process. It is a marketplace where advertisers and publishers come together to buy and sell ad publishing space. So, let's move on. What does an ad exchange do in an RTB process? Having established that an ad exchange acts as an intermediary between the buy side and sell side, let's explore what role it has in media buying. Picture this, advertisers represented by DSPs have prepared their creatives and now they need to purchase placement to display their ads. Publishers represented by the SSPs sell their placements to monetize their websites. Placements here mean specific blocks on the website intentionally kept empty for the ads. Some placements are right in the middle of the web page, while some are in the footer or in the sidebar. Between these two, there is an ad exchange that matches the requirements of both sides. The moment a user visits a website, they are being scanned for their previous shopping habits, a device they use, location, and so on and so on. The information is then passed from an SSP to ad exchange and from ad exchange to a DSP. The DSP sees the user data called the bid request, analyzes it and chooses the most suitable ad that meets both advertisers and publisher requirements. DSP places a bid. These bids from different DSPs are then sent back to the ad exchange for a real-time auction. As there are tens or even hundreds of SSPs and DSPs connected to one ad exchange, complex process of selecting and matching ads takes place, but it happens in a mere milliseconds. And of course, the highest bid wins, and the ad is shown to the user. Can anyone work with an ad exchange? You have probably noticed me talking about an SSP and DSP in the process, but this is because they are the contact points of an ad exchange. So whether you are a multi-platform publisher or local brand to work with an ad exchange, you need to connect through DSP or SSP respectively. Is it possible to work with an ad exchange without an SSP or a DSP? Yes, if you are working through an ad network that have ad tech stack that are reselling traffic. Types of ad exchanges. There are two types of ad exchanges differentiated by the deal type. Open or private. Open ad exchange is an open marketplace that comprises a, repo a repository of listings acquired from various publishers. Here, advertisers have access to all publishers to which the SSP is connected, and publishers cannot limit access to their inventory. However, the buyers will not be able to learn specific information about publishers, unlike in the private marketplace. Keep in mind, with the spread of the ad fraud and low-quality creatives, open ad exchanges are becoming less and less popular for supply and demand alike. Private ad exchanges are the next big thing for publishers who want significant control over their placements. Here, publishers fully control the bids and weed out advertisers that do not like. Actually, this type of marketplace guaranteed uh, the best possible control over the inventory. Preferred deal exchange. Here, publishers can sell their inventory to advertisers of their choice one-on-one -on -one style, like in the good old days. Advertisers engage in programmatic direct deals with publishers, also known as fixed price deals. They give publishers control over the whole transaction. Do you always need an ad exchange to trade ads programmatically? Hmm, you can do without. For example, using white label technologies and connecting it to a DSP or SSP directly. And if you are interested in this, I suggest you learn more about a white label DSP. But both publishers and advertisers, they usually deal with ad exchange to some extent. 
as it offers some advantages over setting up a direct connections. So let's start with publishers. Selling inventory through an ad exchange help them to have access to numerous advertisers without significant effort, automate their website or app inventory monetization, set up the minimum CPMs for inventory units and block ads that contain sensitive information or inappropriate content. And now see if the advertisers are benefiting the same way. Buy an ad through an ad exchange help them have access to the large pool of publishers, get full control over the bidding process as well as targeting and frequency, uh, calibrate the frequency of their ads and blacklist the unwanted audience. Ad exchange versus ad network. Who wins? Given the number of advantages, it is hard to believe someone can work without an ad exchange, right? So, in fact, ad exchanges are often confused with other tech players like ad networks. An ad network is a company that acts as the intermediary between publishers and advertisers. The ad network's job is to find the most relevant for the publisher and advertiser's ad space. Basically, an ad networks uh, are there to do the ad serving job of their clients. Let's talk about the key differences here. Please look at the table I suggest you take a screenshot of. And the main difference is that an ad exchange is an open marketplace where publishers and advertisers thread ad impressions, while an ad network is a middle link company that does ad trading work for them. Ad exchanges are needed for big ad tech players such as ad networks or other ad tech providers, while any publisher or advertiser can work with an ad network. With ad networks, publishers get hassle-free inventory management and full-service ad serving, while with an ad exchange they can get the best prices and more control of what is displayed on their placements. Advertisers also benefit from ad networks by getting full-service ad serving and low entry barriers. The self-serve programmatic through an ad exchange provides them with advanced targeting, retargeting, and overall more control to enable cost-effective advertising. In short, ad networks are more suitable for smaller businesses, and ad exchanges are oriented at mid to big publishers and advertisers. If you are sold on the idea of the platform, then I suggest you meet our EPOM ad exchange. EPOM ad exchange is the platform that is automatically connected to our self-serve DSP and helps hold all the programmatic transactions. This is an internal company product and cannot be accessed directly by customers. However, we allow customers to connect their EPOM white label DSPs to EPOM exchange and buy traffic from our supply partners. The EPOM ad exchange is our internal marketplace where our company's DSP and SSP partners exchange ads. As I mentioned earlier, if you use our white label DSP and have a pool of SSP partners, you can connect directly to them. But EPOM ad exchange is used by default in our self-serve DSP and you can use it also you know, for white label clients if they haven't got any SSP connections yet. If you are interested in making this happen, I know some people around here I can talk to, but meanwhile you can learn more about EPOM white label DSP to get the idea of what it is and I will link all the useful resources and the description. I hope yeah, this video was useful for you and please drop me a line if you have any advertising related questions and please subscribe and see you around.